Hi, it's Roisin O'Connor here with you again. And I hope you're doing really, really well today. Um, thank you for watching my video. As always, I'm very grateful for the viewers of my video and for the, uh, the comments and feedback I get from them. But offline, but online and offline indeed, when I meet people out and about and they tell me they've been watching my videos, I feel very, very humbled um, and grateful to have this opportunity. So anyway, today what I want to talk to you about was um, how good it feels when you've had a good day. You know, when someone says to you, how was your day? Do you find yourself more often saying, great, I had a really good day, I feel like I accomplished lots. Or do you find yourself saying, I'm still behind and we haven't done this and I haven't done that. You know, or do you have a feeling of, of accomplishing something? And because, you know, why did you get into business? Why did you become an entrepreneur? Um, because probably, I don't know, for me, I want more time freedom in my life in general. But what often happens with entrepreneurs is we find ourselves being completely robbed of time. And um, especially when, you know, like a network marketer, when you have a full time job and then, you know, full time for your living and part time for your fortune. But you're working all around the clock and you realize that things that you were working for are kind of going further, further, further into the distance. You know, your family, your dreams, your hobbies that you love spending time doing, you're not doing them. You're not spending the right time because you're you're so busy that you just don't have any time left and your brain is just shot because you're you're so stressed out. Now, maybe the, this identifies with some people. I don't know, but I know that has, that has been a challenge for me because, as you know, I'm probably know I'm an English teacher. And I teach English in businesses here in Italy as freelance. Um, so therefore time is really important because um, you know there's a lot of administration involved in that organization travel well you work from home the travel is reduced obviously um, and then I also am a network marketer a mentor um, you know I have lots of different roles in life so how to manage time and today I was listening to a really great article, uh, audio um, from Success CD's monthly audio uh, by Tori Johnson. And it was about guarding your time. It was about, you know, making sure that you're using your time well. Um, and that got me to thinking, you know, that this is not just about people who are entrepreneurs and who are network marketers and have a part-time business. This is about everyone. You know, if we organize our time better in everything we do in everything we do then when we have our time off with our friends or our family we can really relax and enjoy it we're not thinking i should be doing something else i should be talking to him i should be calling her you know we're living in the now when we're when we're there at that moment so um tori's Tori's interview was really was great. It really hit home with me. It's all things I've heard before. We need to hear them again and again. And that is like the small, consistent, disciplined action steps on a daily basis are the only thing that we need in order to be successful in anything we're doing or to be happy. A lifetime of success or a business lifetime of, of you know happiness or whatever the case may be because life and business are they're all combined you know you know so our relationships improve if our time management improves she talked about our return on investment of our time and that's something i'm focusing on in the moment at the moment because i'm doing a business plan i'm working on a business plan with my mentor charlie and that's forcing me to focus on how i spend my time and the return i get on my time you know, so before you plan an activity, what kind of return of, of for your time is that going to give you? Now, I'm not saying that everything you do must give you a return of, of investment of your time, as in money, financial. That's not what it's about. Because obviously the time that you give to serve a person can never be paid. You know, it, or can be paid in the future. You're paying, you're paying it forward. So I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about in general. Which when you sit down to Facebook, for example, do you sit down to Facebook for five minutes to check and end up an hour later, and you've just been 
surfing through different things and rooting through profiles and you actually haven't done work but at the same time you've maybe missed an evening with your partner or your child. So it's to examine how we spend our time and by guarding our time, organizing it really well. Like just one idea I got as well was of, and this is something I've attempted to do before, but I'm going to um, put it into my diary as in from Monday morning. And that is take some time during the week to actually work on the business, not just in the business. Um, by that I mean, instead of having appointments organized all, over, all through the week, to give myself an afternoon um, or a morning, a day might be over adventures at the moment, where I don't have any appointments at all and I'm working on improving my business and that there's so many areas I know I need to improve on and I keep procrastinating because of time. I'm not managing my time. Well, let's admit it. If I was managing my time, well, I would have done these things before. So that's all I'm going to say today, you know, and like the point that Darren Hardy made was all great business successes come about through the management of time. And that's true if you talk to anyone like Jim Rohn, you know, that, he talked about this so much, Jeff Olson, manage your time well and you'll manage a lifetime of, of success and happiness. So I hope you found value and I haven't put too much into my video. Um, but if I have, maybe you go back and listen to it again. And in the meantime, I highly recommend Success Magazine's um, Success Magazine. I highly recommend it. And thanks, Fergal, my brother, for, for giving me this as a Christmas gift. Um, because their audio CD is just phenomenal. To have that in the car before you go into a meeting, you know, you're just you're on fire after listening to it. So thanks very much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.